Stephen, uh, this is now uh, four in a row on the road, six and one on the road in the playoffs. Hostile buildings don't seem to bother you guys, and it's a lot of defense and goaltending as well in doing so. Why do you think you've been so successful on the road in this playoffs so far? Well, I think it just goes to, to show the maturity of the group that we have. Um, you know, especially it feels like every round we've gone, you know, Florida, the fans were great, pumped up in Carolina here, unbelievable atmosphere. So um, we just kind of rise to the occasion. I think for whatever reason, I think history kind of shows you play a little more simple game on, on the road. Um, you realize it's going to be a, a tough night, especially when you're going up against a team like this in a building like this, you just expect the battle level and the compete level to, to rise to the occasion. And we certainly did that tonight. We got out to a, a great start. We got the lead and, um, you know, give them credit. They had their push there in the second period. We weathered the storm and I thought we had a, you know, another good third period when, when protecting a one goal lead. Joe Smith, the athletic. Hey, Anthony. So like you guys got a really good rhythm in a six out of five situations late in the game. They don't think they had a shot on goal in that whole time. Their goalie pulled. Just what's the key in those situations that you guys have been able to be successful with? And I mean, I'm sure it's just like a penalty kill in some sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the biggest thing is just trying in the lanes. Um, I think our D, uh, you know, blocked numerous pucks back there. And, and, you know, guys, you know, do a good job of, uh, you know, sacrificing their body. So, I think the biggest thing is just, like I said, trying to get in lanes. And, and we know Vasi's back there to, to, you know, bail us out when, uh, you know, when they do get through. So I think it's just trying to stay compact and, um, and everyone just doing their job. Ed and Encina, Tampa Bay Times. Steven, you mentioned, you know, that second period and, and into the third. What was the key defensively to, you, you know, you guys, you know, holding on to this, this one goal lead, especially when they were, they were coming pretty hard there at the end? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's everyone buying into to the system. We know what our job is. We talk about it in between, you know, the second and third. We got a one goal lead going into uh, the third period of a playoff game. We know what we we have to do, and and we've done it time and time again. So it's it's great to see. Um, but like I said, this group is comfortable in these situations. It's it's the conference finals or semifinals, whatever you want to call it. You know, this time of the year, it's it's guys doing whatever it takes to, to win. That's the most important thing. And, you know, when you have a complete buy-in, you know, you get results like like we're getting right now. Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Yeah, Stephen, to follow up on that, you know, what gives you that confidence as a team? Is it just the experience of being through it or, or you know, what allows you to, to grind out these wins and, and these tight games? For sure. I think we, we constantly lean on that experience and it's just – the more you know games like this that you play, um, whether it was last year in the playoffs or um, you know in the regular season, you know this group knows uh, to flip that switch when when the time comes. And I think we've proved that in in the past. We've proved it again here in the playoffs. It's it's a battle each and every night. The further you go, the tougher the task is. And um, you know we knew they were going to push. They had a good push. Vasi was there, and we needed it. It was it was you know obviously. Um, you know, not a lot of penalties. So the, the flow was good. We get, you know, I know it wasn't a power play goal, but that, that was a, a big goal for us there at the end to, to kind of restore that one goal lead. And, and we just kind of shut it down after that. We'll do two more questions for the guys. Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. Yeah, Anthony, you made a couple of plays there uh, right uh, in the middle of their power play where they kind of caught you in a line change, but you end up blocking a, a pass and then blocking a shot. I mean, what are those moments like because they're not really going to show up on a scoreboard, but they meant so much because of probably a clear chance in New York kids if you don't stop either of those pucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, we go out there to do a job, and um, I think everyone does it. Every single guy on our team is is putting their body on the line. Um, like I said, from the D to the forwards, numerous guys are out there blocking shots. So um, I think, you know, as a team, we do a really good job of that. Um, I mean, yeah. I think anyone in that position is trying to do the same thing. And, and, and like Samer said, just sacrificing our body and, and uh, doing whatever it takes to win. Um, you know, like uh, we experienced that last year, and we continue to you know, keep growing and, and just keep uh, you know, playing for one another. 